Hello, Michael. Hello. All right. Wait, wait a second, Michael. Wait for me. <laughs> Wait a minute, Michael. All right, so let's begin our lesson tonight, Michael. Okay, by the way, Michael, oh, where are you? <clears throat> Michael, Michael, where are you, please? <clears throat> Oh, Michael, so tonight we're having a class, right? And then um, we still got one more uh, lesson left, okay? Okay. Yeah, but, but um, I have a new class already on Monday, so we can have our last class on Saturday, tom tomorrow. Uh, uh, uh. Is it okay what or time? Sunday? Same time. 9 p.m. also. Is it okay? Sunday. Yeah. You want Saturday or Sunday? You tell me. Sunday. Okay, Sunday. That will be our last class, okay? Okay. All right, so... How are you? I'm good. Mm -hmm, very good. Okay, so let's begin our lesson for tonight. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so now, Michael, we are having listening skills. Okay, let's have vocabulary first. Can you read the words, please? After what? After what? Oh, what happened? Wait, okay. Again, again, again. After what? Then? Astronaut. Spaceship. Very good. Afterward, astronaut, and spaceship. Okay, very good. So, um, what is an astronaut, Michael? An astronaut is a job that flies through the space to explore. explore. All right, very good. So, um, how about you, Michael, when you were still young? Do you, do you ever dream of being an astronaut? No. No, why? 
because being an astronaut is very difficult to be. Mm -hmm. And you have to study a lot of things. Yeah. So that you can be an astronaut. Okay. So um, if you don't want to be an astronaut, um, how about riding a spaceship? Do you like experience um, riding a spaceship? No, 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 no. Are you afraid? Zia, 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 zia. Yeah, me too. I'm afraid. So now, okay, let's have part one, questions one to five. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There's one question for each conversation. Questions one to five, put a tick under the right answer. Okay, so this is an example. So now let's begin listening. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. One, what's George doing now? Hi, where's George? Is he still studying? He's driving his girlfriend to the airport. Oh, will he be back for the volleyball game? I don't think so. We'll have to play without him. Now listen again. Hi, where's George? Is he still studying? He's driving his girlfriend to the airport. Oh, will he be back for the volleyball game? I don't think so. We'll have to play without him. Two. Which room will the woman stay in? Here's your key, Mrs Hill. Your room is number 43. Up the stairs and turn right. Is it a quiet room? Well, it's quieter at the back of the hotel. Here, have this one, if you prefer. Number 23. Thanks. I'll need the room for six nights. Now listen again. Here's your key, Mrs Hill. Your room is number 43. Up the stairs and turn right. Is it a quiet room? Well, it's quieter at the back of the hotel. Here, have this one, if you prefer. Number 23. Thanks. I'll need the room for six nights. Three. What will the boy wear in the race? Have you got everything for the race? Yes, I think so. I'll wear these long running trousers. It's quite cold. Don't you want your hat, too? It's in my bag. I'll put it on later. Now listen again. Have you got everything for the race? Yes, I think so. I'll wear these long running trousers. It's quite cold. Don't you want your hat, too? It's in my bag. I'll put it on later. Four. What colour will the room be? What colour are you going to have your room, Anne? I'd like to paint it green, but Mum thinks yellow looks warmer. Orange is my favourite colour. I like it too, but I'll have to do what Mum wants. Now listen again. What colour are you going to have your room, Anne? I'd like to paint it green, but Mum thinks yellow looks warmer. Orange is my favourite colour. I like it too, but I'll have to do what Mum wants. Five. Where did Minnie and Richard first meet? Richard, have you met the new student in our class? Do you mean Minnie? Yes. She's the one who's a very good tennis player. I've known her since January. That's when her family moved next door to mine. Now listen again. Richard, have you met the new student in our class? 
Do you mean Minnie? Yes. She's the one who's a very good tennis player. I've known her since January. That's when her family moved next door to mine. Okay, so now... This is the end of part one. Okay, now, Michael, question number one. What's George doing now? What happened, Michael? My computer has closed it for some Ah, okay. All right, so let's continue. Question number one, what is George doing now? C. All right, letter C is correct. Number two, which room will the woman stay in? B. B. What will the boy wear in the race? C. C. Number four. What color will the room be? A. A, yellow. Where did Minnie and Richard first meet? C. Okay, C is correct. Very good. All right, five points. Okay, next one, Dan. Um, uh, what's this, Michael? Okay, so let's read the conversation. Were there many people at the meeting? Oh, no, 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 wait. It must be number one. Okay, one, what's George doing now? Hi, where's George? Is he still studying? He's driving his girlfriend to the airport. Oh, will he will he be back for the volleyball game? I don't think so. We have to play without him. Okay, number two. Which room will the woman stay in? Here's your key, Mrs. Hill. Your room is number 43. Up the stairs and turn right. Is it a quiet room? Well, it's quieter at the back of the hotel. Here, have this one of you. Have this one if you prefer. Number 23. Thanks. I'll need the room for six months. Okay, next one. Have you got everything for the race? Yes, I think so. I'll wear this <laughs> shelter. It's quite cold. Don't you want your half hat too? It's in my bag. I'll put it on later. Number four, what color will the room be? What color are you going to have your room, Anne? I like to paint green, but mom thinks yellow is warmer. Orange is my favorite color. I like it too, but I have to do what mom wants. Okay, number five. Where did Minnie and Richard first meet? Richard, have you met the new student in our class? Do you mean Minnie? Yes, she's the one who's a very good tennis player. I've known her since January. That's when her family moved next door to mine. Okay, very good. Next one, part two, question six to ten. Listen to Jack and Mark talking about a new sports center. Which sport they can do each day at the center? For questions 6 to 10, write a letter A to H next to each day. You will hear the conversation twice. Now look at part 2. Listen to Jack and Mark 
talking about a new sports centre. Which sport can they do each day at the centre? For questions 6 to 10, write a letter, A to H, next to each day. You will hear the conversation twice. Hello, Jack. You want to go to the sports centre one day a week, don't you? Well, I've got some information. On Monday, there's golf. Hmm, I prefer volleyball, Mark. Also, Monday's a bad day for me. Tuesday's better. Is there volleyball then? It's basketball. But you like that, don't you? Quite. What can you do on Wednesday? Let's see. It was badminton, but not enough people wanted to do it, so it's swimming now. That's no good for me, because I hate water. And I go to swimming at school every Tuesday. Is there anything outside? Uh, football or hockey? On Thursday. But they don't do hockey, I'm afraid, just football. But look, Friday's good. Why? You say you like volleyball. Well, that's at the sports centre then. Great. Or there's Saturday. Oh, swimming again. Tennis. That's outside. And you like it better than football, don't you? Yes, but I like volleyball best. All right, so now. Now listen again. Okay, now, Michael, number six, Tuesday. What sport is that? Basketball, B. Letter B, number seven, Wednesday. F. Letter? F. F, swimming. Thursday is? B. C is football. Friday is? H. H, volleyball, and that's one. Saturday is? G. G, tennis, very good. All right. Next one, let's read the conversation, okay? Hello, Jack. You want to go to the sports center one day a week, don't you? Well, I've got some information. On Monday, there's golf. I prefer volleyball. Mark. Also, Monday's a bad day for me. Tuesday's better. It's the volleyball then. It's basketball, but you like that, don't you? Right. What can you do on Wednesday? Let's see. It was badminton, but not enough people wanted to do it, so it's swimming now. That's no good for me because I hate water. And I go to swimming at school every Tuesday. Is there anything outside? Football, hockey? On Thursday, but they don't do hockey. I'm afraid. Just football. But look, Friday is good. Why? You say you like volleyball. Well, that's at the sports center then. Great. Or they're swimming set or or they're Saturday. Swimming again. Tennis, that's outside and you like it better than football, don't you? Yes, but I like volleyball best. Okay, very good. Now, part three, questions eleven to fifteen. Listen to Diane talking to a friend about a trip to London. For questions eleven to fifteen. Take A, B, or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Now look at part three. Listen to Diane talking to a friend about a trip to London. For questions 11 to 15, tick A, B, or C. 
you will hear the conversation twice. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds. <coughs> Okay, let's wait. It's still playing. Now listen to the conversation. I tried to phone you yesterday. Oh, sorry. I was busy all day, and then I went to London in the evening for a meal with some friends. Did you take your car? I left it at home. Parking's such a problem. But the underground was closed for repairs, so I had to take the bus. It was quite slow. Did you go to your favourite Spanish restaurant? I was hoping to try some Mexican food, but my friends booked a table in a Chinese place. Was it expensive? Quite cheap, actually, and the food was very good. But it's only a small restaurant, so a lot of people had to wait for tables, and it was quite noisy. You didn't stay there and talk afterwards, then? We went for a walk along the river. It was too late for the cinema. Didn't you get wet? It rained here all evening. The wind was very cold, but it stayed dry. And then it snowed during the night. That was after I got home, but I had a really good evening. Now listen again. I tried to phone you yesterday. OK, were you able to answer now, Monkey? Oh, uh, Michael? <laughs> Yeah, because I got a student named Monkey. <laughs> okay, so number 11, Michael. Diane went to London by? Underground. Under? Goes out. Oh, it's bus. Zay. Uh-huh. Diane and her friends ate? B. Okay, Chinese food. Diane says the restaurant was? A. Okay, full. After the meal, Diane and her friends? A. Okay, walk by the water. During Diane's trip to London? C. C. It was? Windy. Very good. Okay, four points here. Next one. I tried to phone you yesterday. <coughs> oh, sorry. I was busy all day and then I went to London in that evening for a meal with some friends. Did you take your car? I left this at home. It is such a problem. The underground the closed for repairs, so I had to take the bus. It was quite slow. Did you go to your favorite Spanish restaurant? I was hoping to try some Mexican food, but my friends booked a table in a Chinese place. Was it expensive? Quite cheap, actually, and the food was very good. But only a small red drunk, so a lot of people have to wait for tables. And it was quite noisy. You didn't stay there and talk afterwards then. We went for a walk along the river. It was too late for cinema. Didn't you get wet? It rained here all evening. The wind was very cold, but it stayed dry. And then it snowed during the night. Okay, now let's have question 16 to 20. You will hear a woman talking to a shop assistant about buying a video film for her daughter. Listen and complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the conversation twice. Okay, now let's listen. Now look at part four. You will hear a woman talking to a shop assistant about buying a video film for her daughter. Listen and complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the conversation twice.
Can I help you? I'm looking for the new Brad Smith video about a boy who works as a waiter. My daughter wants it, but I don't know the name. Oh, yes. It's called Blue Cafe. <laughs> My daughter is 13. Is she old enough to watch it? It's for anyone who is 12 or older, so she'll be OK. I hope it's not too expensive. Some videos are nearly £20. It's £5.99. We're selling it at a special price today. Great. Can I have one, please? I'm sorry. I've just sold the last one. You'll have to go to our other shop. Oh, dear. Where's that? It's in Shirley Street. That's S-H-I-R-L-E-Y. Oh, that's where the post office is, isn't it? Yes. The video shop's not far from there, just across the road from the bank. It's only five minutes from here. OK. Thanks for your help. OK, one more. Now right. listen again. Can I help you? I'm looking for the new Brad Smith video about a boy who works as a waiter. My daughter wants it, but I don't know the name. Oh, yes. It's called Blue Cafe. <laughs> My daughter is 13. Is she old enough to watch it? It's for anyone who is 12 or older, so she'll be OK. I hope it's not too expensive. Some videos are nearly £20. It's £5.99. We're selling it at a special price today. Great. Can I have one, please? I'm sorry. I've just sold the last one. You'll have to go to our other shop. Oh, dear. Where's that? It's in Shirley Street. That's S-H-I-R-L-E-Y. Oh, that's where the post office is, isn't it? Yes. The video shop's not far from there, just across the road from the bank. It's only five minutes from here. OK. Thanks for your help. OK, so... This is the end of part four. Video, all right. So actor in film is Brad Smith. Name of the film? What is the name of the film, Michael? Blue Cafe. Cafe, all right. Blue Cafe for people. Twelve years or older. Okay, it's twelve years old or more. Cost is five pounds ninety-nine. Okay, it's five pounds and ninety-nine. The video shop is in. S H I R L Y, Shirley Street. All right, Shirley Street, and the opposite of bank. Opposite of the bank. All right. Okay, so what's your answer in number 17, Michael? Is that 12? 12. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, you got the five points here. Next one. Let's read. Can I help you? I'm looking for a new Brad Smith video, but how about a boy who works at the waiter? My daughter wants it, but I don't know the name. Oh yes, it's called Blue Cafe. My daughter is 13. Is she old enough to watch it? It's for anyone who is 12 or older, so she'll be okay. I hope it's not too expensive. Some videos are near 20 pounds. It's 5 pounds 99. We're selling it at a special price today. Great, can I have one please? I'm sorry, I've just sold the last one. You'll have to go to our other shop. Oh dear, where's that? It's in Shirley Street. That's S-H-I-R-L-E-Y. On 
next one. Oh, that's what the post office is, isn't it? Yes, the video shop is not far from there, just across the road from the bank. It's only five minutes from here. Okay, thanks for your help. Okay. All right, so next one, let's have part five. Okay, wait a minute, Michael. Wait a minute. Okay, so now let's have part uh, questions 21 to 25. You will hear some information about the visitor to a school. Listen and complete questions 21 to 25. You will hear the information twice. Now look at part five. You will hear some information about a visitor to a school. Listen and complete questions 21 to 25. You will hear the information twice. Now listen carefully, everybody. Here is some excellent news. Next Thursday, a most interesting visitor is going to come to talk to us. He's the astronaut, Dr. Robert Teal. That's T-E-A-L-E. -E. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of him. He's very famous for his journeys into space. He's going to talk to us about space travel. Only he can tell us just what it's like to travel around the Earth in a spaceship, past the moon and the stars. The whole school is going to listen to Dr. Teal. We will use the school hall, because none of the classrooms will be big enough. Classes will finish at 20 past 2 on Thursday, because the talk will start at half past. Don't be late. If your parents would like to hear Dr. Teal, we have a few extra seats. The ticket price for them will be £3.85. But of course, for students, it is free. Now listen again. Now listen carefully, everybody. Here is some excellent news. Next Thursday, a most interesting visitor is going to come to talk to us. He's the astronaut, Dr. Robert Teal. That's T-E-A-L-E. -E. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of him. He's very famous for his journeys into space. He's going to talk to us about space travel. Only he can tell us just what it's like to travel around the Earth in a spaceship past the moon and the stars. The whole school is going to listen to Dr. Teal. We will use the school hall because none of the classrooms will be big enough. Classes will finish at 20 past two on Thursday because the talk will start at half past. Don't be late. If your parents would like to hear Dr. Teal, we have a few extra seats. The ticket price for them will be £3.85. But of course, for students, it is free. Okay, so now let us answer. Visiting speaker. Day is Thursday. Now, what is the name? T E A L E. Teal. Okay, Teal. Subject is. Space travel. Space travel. The place is. School hall. School hall. Time of talk.
Twenty past two. Twenty past two. Oh, it's two thirty or half past two. Oh, not twenty past two. Next one. Tickets for parents cost. Three pounds eighty-five. Okay, three pounds and eighty-five. All right, so four points. Next one, let's read. All right. Oh no, no, no. You can you read the um sentence below, Michael? Now listen carefully. Oh, no, 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 no. Start with his going. He's going to talk with us about space travel. Only he can tell us what it's like to travel around the Earth in a spaceship past the moon and the stars. The whole school is going to listen to Dr. Teal. We'll use the school hall because none of the classrooms will be big enough. Classes will finish at 20 past 2 on Thursday because the talk it will start at half past 2. Don't be like. If your parents want, would like to hear Dr. Teal, we have a few extra seats. The ticket price for them will be three pounds eighty-five. Because of course, for student is free. Okay. So all right. So now we are finished in the first part, Michael. Okay. Wait for me. I will open. One last four or five minutes, okay? Wait for me. Only five more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you wait for me. All right, so now, Michael, let's have <coughs> part one, questions one to five. Which notice, A to H, says this one to five? Questions one to five, mark the correct letter, A to H, on your answer sheet. Okay, so number one, Michael, read and choose your answer. You must have a ticket to go past here. D. Passenger only through this gate. Have your ticket ready. All right. All right. Letter D is correct. Number two. If you want to travel Monday to Friday, this ticket is cheap. Uh -huh. H. Save money. Okay, Buy a weekly H. travel ticket here. Correct. Next one, number